we used to be an happy family, enjoying what life gave us, with regular ups and downs, of course, and we just wanted to keep those moments of happiness. But suddenly, life hit us hard. A cancer was diagnosed to my wife, and everything fell apart. We were now disconnected from everything in the world to fully focus on this. We were running against time. There are different situations that can trigger this kind of feelings in you. The best phrase I found to represent that is like when you feel the sky falling over your head. You know, that pressure you feel, it's like that feeling. And you don't know what to do. The best chances we got were located on Spain, a huge oncological center in a neighbor country. So we left everything behind. Our business, our home, our friends, our family, kids left school, and me, my wife, our doctor and son quickly moved and in just a few days we were living near the clinic. My job was to keep the things tight and keep the children with 10 and 7 years old entertained and far away from this suffering. The feelings of desperation are horrible, the worst we can imagine, until they identify the cancer type and the treatment to apply. Fortunately, although it was an aggressive type of cancer, it didn't spread yet. So during one year, she was submitted to all of those hard treatments of chemotherapy and then they took the cancer out of her body. It isn't over, another chemotherapy during one more year has initiated, but we were capable now to see the light at the end of the tunnel. We were trying to come back slowly to our normal life. But then again, and this you all know very well, we were hit by lockdowns everywhere and we all had, of course, to stay home. So we were trying to wake up from a nightmare and suddenly another nightmare was being presented to us. It felt like a joke. So I had to use my imagination to try to surpass that. And I feel that was the moment when astronomy starting to revive from inside of me. Something was already happening. I had binoculars and a small cheap telescope which I used once in a while to watch the sky. I was starting to reconnect with the universe and bringing my family with me. And one day I was lying on the beach chair I have, looking at the sky, and I thought, and if I buy a real telescope, a huge one to better watch the sky? And I talked with my wife and she thought it was a good idea. So we went hard, <laughs> we bought a 12-inch Dobsonian telescope. Our first Dobsonian telescope, a real telescope. And we start exploring the sky in a deeper way. But then, bad feelings arrived again. We felt the frustration of pointing to many objects in the sky and only watch faint fuzzies. Furthermore, many of them were not visible at all. As I was more enthusiastic about the telescope, I could deal with it and I could have pleasant visual observations with the brighter objects in the sky. However, my wife was more frustrated than me. And while I was slowly connecting more and more with the sky, her feelings were jeopardizing her connection with the sky. So I had to do something about it. And that was when I found if we could use a camera, we could watch many, many more objects in the sky. However, to do that, my telescope would need tracking. So I bought an equatorial platform, then I bought a camera, I connected it to my laptop and I called my wife. And, oh boy, she was amazed. I wish you could see it. Her eyes were getting out of her head and the mouth opened with stupefaction. Finally I can see the horse head nebula, she exclaimed. And since then, even having to keep going to the Spanish clinic, 
how our lives came back to normal, but now with the extra bonus to have it fulfilled with astronomy. Now we feel connected with the sky. We just wanted to recover our happiness, simple as that. And even better, not only we are connected and happier, but also through this YouTube channel, I can connect with you, also a part of the family, with Astroart Finland, another part of the family, and with the sky at the same time. But that's why everybody should click next on this video on the screen and participate in this beautiful journey.